Hello everyone and welcome back to Level Up Meeples. Uh, in this video we are going to be doing our second playthrough of Tapestry using our second of 12 civilizations. And uh, if you weren't watching in our first playthrough we got um, crushed by the Automa. Uh, so we're still playing at level 2. For this game and hopefully we'll have a better showing here uh, this this time around so with that let's go ahead and pick our civilization uh, Siri pick a random number between 1 and 11 it's two two all right so we're gonna pick the second one in this pile which is nomads and then we will now pick our city mat Siri, pick a random number between one and three. It's three. All right, so once again, we are grasslands or forest. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and get that set up. Okay, I went ahead and chose the grassland this time. And for those of you who aren't familiar, uh, once again, we're the nomads. So basically, the way this works is that um, they prefer to expand their civilization, so they don't necessarily put their buildings or landmarks on this city map. They actually have two additional options. The first is that they can put those items on a territory that we control um, that contain exactly one other token. So if there's already an outpost on a territory or um, a building, another you know landmark or market, for example, uh, then we gain a resource, and the opponents can't conquer these uh, these territories. Then, um, on an empty tile is also an option, an empty territory adjacent to one that we control, and this gives us control of that territory. Um, but it's not conquer, and um, basically it's considered an outpost, so the opponent can still try to conquer it. Um, so that's how the nomads work. And once again, we are using the civilization adjustments. However, the nomads don't get any change. So with that, we will just finish setup for the Automa. Uh, we're going to roll for their favorite track. So the Automa's favorite track is Technology. And the Shadow Empire is Military. All right. So get those set up. And with that, we are ready to go. Uh, we're going to go ahead and go first. So we're going to take our income turn. Uh, we get one of each resource. And a tile. And a tapestry card. So here's our tile. It's nice. It has a, um, has a farm on it and our tapestry card. Golden Age. This era, ignore upgrade prerequisites on tech cards. Uh, when you upgrade, gain three points. So maybe a late tapestry card. We'll see what happens. Okay, that was our income phase. And now the Automa's gonna go. Uh, the Automa's favorite track, once again, is technology so we'll set up their civ card which is here okay uh, so they get a tapestry card and that goes in their hand and now it is our turn uh, okay so I think since we're the nomads we're going to begin off here with a lot of exploration heavy exploration um, especially since that's neither of the Automa's favorite tracks. And let's see if we can work our way here uh, to get to space this game. So I'm going to go ahead and spend a food. And we will do some scouting. Two more tiles. There 
That's nice. Two more tiles. This is nice. That's great. All right. And that's our turn. Let's see what the Automa is going to do. All right. So the Automa is going to go down any track, uh, starting with Science. So they're going to roll the die. And now they're also moving down and discovering pottery. And that's going to wipe out the three tech cards. Oh, no, that's not because they don't get the action for the first dice roll. The Shadow Empire is going to move down their favorite track. And it's our turn. So, uh, once again, I think we're going to keep pushing on exploration and discover rafts. So, we're going to spend coin and move into here. So, we get to explore. Um, looking at our tiles here, I don't want to place this one yet because I want to save this technology upgrade if possible. So of these two choices, I think we could maybe do something like, this would only be two points. No, this would be three points. So we're going to go ahead and do this one and pick up two more tiles. So we get a point, a point, uh, and a point. Three points. All right, so we get two more tiles. Tapestry card and a worker. And we will pay the resource to grab an extra tapestry card um, because the current one that we have isn't good for the second era. Uh, so we're gonna pay a culture. And let's see what we get. All right, so this is, uh, whoops, not coming into focus. Okay, here we go. Industrialism. Uh, so this arrow, whenever you invent technology, gain the circle benefit on it. Uh, the card remains in the bottom row for now. So that's pretty nice, actually. Um, we might target that. All right, so that concludes our turn. Now for the Automa. All right, so the Automa's priority this time is to uh, go on the track where they're closest to the end. So they are tied on both technology and science currently. Uh, so they're going to move on the technology track one up. And they are grabbing a tapestry card. Okay. And the Shadow Empire is going down any track that's not finished, and they're going this time with exploration. All right. Um, once again, our turn. I think we have one resource. Um, Do we want to do another explore action? I think we do. The question is, instead of that, do we want to put out a farm? And with that farm, we can use our ability. Uh, once again, as a reminder, so um, on an empty territory adjacent to one we control, we can put out the farm on that territory, and that gives us control um, so basically it's a way to explore out here without actually getting the conquer, taking the conquer action. So I think we are going to try to do that and get an early jump on that center tile. Um, so we're going to pay the resource. We're going to pay our last worker. We're going to move up on this track. We're going to take a farm from our player mat and put it here. All right. So that was our turn. 
And now the automa goes. All right, so uh, the automa's moving up on the military track. That's gonna give them the conquer action. So uh, once again, we will look at the flow chart that we reference, but essentially uh, they can't conquer us. So they're gonna head down this right side. Um, there is a tiebreaker topple icon on the tiebreaker card. So basically um, any hex is valid, but for this it's only just to mark them off to make it easy. It's only gonna be the ones obviously that they're adjacent to. So those are the options. Uh, yes, it does able to uh, conquer a hex, yes. Uh, the middle achievement is still available, so they're gonna go towards the middle island, basically. And that means they're gonna go here, and because the toppled icon appears, they're putting out a Shadow Empire toppled mark. No post. Okay. So that was the Shadow Empire's move, and I'm sorry, that was the Automa's move, and the Shadow Empire is going to do the same, um, but they're moving up the exploration track once again. Okay. It is our turn. We have no resources, so we're going to go ahead and do our income round. Uh, so first, our Civ card. We don't have any special ability for income on our Civ card. We're going to play a Tapestry. I do think it's going to be this one. This gets us a resource. Um, so we'll take a Worker because we're the first to the second era. And now we have no technology cards to upgrade, so we're going to score some points. Um, we're not getting any points this round. Slow start on the points. And now we collect income. So we're going to get uh, one of every resource but two food. So one worker, two food, two co one coin, and one culture. And we get a new tile and a new tapestry card. So the tapestry card we're getting is Monarchy. Whenever you place an income building uh, in your capital city, gain three. All right. And a new tile. Food. Okay. So that was our turn. The Automa, let's see if they're going to go ahead and collect income. They are. So they're collecting income as well. All right. So the first thing we do is assess the favored track. Now, uh, the blue is happy. They're still leading here. So they're all set. And the Shadow Empire is going to switch. So we're tied here, or they're tied with Automa. So they're gonna move down to Exploration, where they are, oh, I'm sorry. No, actually their favorite track is also going to remain. And the reason why is because there isn't, even though they're tied, there isn't a furthered uh, token. So they are still comfortable staying in military. Uh, all right, so they're gonna score some points. Uh, first off, they get uh, no landmarks. They do control two territories. So that gives them two points, the Automa. Uh, we skip this one because it's multiplied by zero. And on the technology track, they're in the second space, so that's two more points. And on the exploration track, they're on the zero space. So that's two more points. So they are at four, or we're at three. And they don't get this bonus because we beat them here. We're going to grab a tapestry card and place it here. 
adding two more AI cards to their discard pile, giving them another tapestry card in their hand, and now uh, their civilization ability. So the Automa gains an extra uh, point for each landmark, which is zero. So we're gonna go ahead and shuffle the AI deck now. Okay, the AI deck has been shuffled and once again, it's our turn. So we benefited by being able to use these to uh, conquer, to expand out. So I think we're going to go ahead and take the cheap first military action and grab that middle tile. So we'll pay one food. Actually, we're gonna save our food. We're gonna pay one worker and move up here. That lets us conquer. So we're putting a outpost in the middle. That gives us 10 points. All right, so we are at 13. And we roll the dice. Uh, in this case, it would be three points or a worker. I think we're going to take the worker. All right. So that was our turn. Let's see what the Automa does. All right. So the Automa is going to go up... Um, on a track where they're closest to a landmark or the end. Uh, so that, in this case, would be here. They're closest to a landmark. All right. And, the, um, and, and that's going to now clear out the technology cards. So these three go away. We get three new ones. All right, and now the Shadow Empire is going to move up a track where they're closest to the end, uh, which would be here. So I think for our turn, we're gonna want to grab this landmark now. Uh, we do. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna spend a food and a worker so now we're at one with every resource and move up. So we are the first to get to navigation, which gives us uh, the lighthouse. Um, I think for the lighthouse, let's see here. Do we want to deploy it on the map or in our city? So I think it's a no-brainer, actually. Um, in looking more closely at the Nomad ability, I don't see any reason why we can't put the lighthouse in the center. Um, because if you look here, it says that whenever you gain a landmark, you may place it on a territory you control containing exactly one other token. So we just effectively locked the Automa out from getting the middle achievement which I think is great. Uh, and we also get a resource for that um, based on our, uh, based on this as well. So we'll take a food. And because we um, discovered navigation, we get another tile and we get to do an explore action. So here's our tiles. Um, I'm interested in getting a technology card so we're going to go ahead and explore likely here let's see what we can do that's not ideal okay i went ahead and put it here so that gives us um, a technology card. Uh, and because of our tapestry, whenever we get a technology card, we get the circle benefits immediately. So um, 
I think we are collecting a lot of tiles. Uh, so this would be nice down the road. And we'd get this basically essentially twice. So we're going to go ahead and invent the technology of telescope. And that gets us a culture and an extra tile. So we get one culture and we draw a tile, another culture tile. All right, so that was our turn. And now let's see what the autumn is gonna do. They are moving up on any track. Uh, so they're moving up on military. That gets them a tapestry card. And the Shadow Empire is doing the same, but on the technology track. All right. Um, our turn, I think we're going to continue pushing this track here. So we'll go ahead and pay a food and a culture to move up. That scores us three points. We control three regions. So we get the 16. And I will pay the bonus and put a farm into play. So we'll pay uh, culture. And another farm comes out. Um, for this farm, let's just go ahead and keep controlling regions. So I'm going to go ahead and put it there. All right. We're going to completely abandon our capital city map this game. All right. That was our turn. The Automa is moving up on the track that they're closest to being the finish for. So that's going to be their favored track. And that's going to wipe out the technology cards. Um, but also it's going to um, get them the first landmark for technology. So that's this one here. And the technology cards are getting wiped out. Three new ones. Okay. And the Shadow Empire is moving up on any track, and it's going to be exploration. They're chasing us here. All right. So, our turn. Let's go ahead. Yeah, I think we're going to continue to run from them. So we'll spend two more resources and move up here. Okay. And that gets us a new tile. Great, another one with culture. So yeah, we really want to... Um, get here to score these tiles that we're collecting and also that technology, um, the square section of that technology will also score that. So I think those are two goals uh, that we're gonna do. And we get another farm. So um, I think We'll continue to do this. Great. And we do have one more resource, so we'll pay for the bonus and we'll do an explore action. So for this time, I am going to go ahead and place this one, which gets us a technology upgrade. We're going to place it here. For two points, let me just see. Yeah, that's oh, that's not a valid place because we don't 
own, we don't control a adjacent tile. So this one's actually gonna give us hardly any points. Uh, let's see here. Can I even place it? Um, yeah, I could go there. Mm, not great, but that's what we'll do. So replacing that, it gets us only one point. But more importantly, we move up here. We once again get the circle benefit. So we're gonna get a culture and another tile. Food, food island. Okay, uh, so that was our turn. And now the Automa is gonna go. This one was here. Okay, so they're moving up on any track. It's gonna be their favored track here. They don't do anything there. And then the Shadow Empire is moving up in somewhere that they're closest to either a landmark or the finish. Um, so they're closest to a landmark on this track here or military. Uh, they're only two spots away. So we're gonna go ahead and look at the tiebreaker and it's gonna be military for them. All right, our turn, we are going to take income. We only have one resource left and we wanna beat them on income. So, we don't have a civilization ability. For the tapestry, we're gonna pick Uh, let's see here. So ignoring the prerequisites, I mean, on this card, we already have someone. Um, the Automa is in the second era of technology. Um, this is interesting. But we're trying to n avoid our capital city. Shoot. We don't have a great tapestry card to play. I guess we will do this one. Um, all right. We get two resources because we're the first in this era. So we're going to take food. Now we get to increase our technology card, which is great. It scores us territories. We have six. I oh, know we don't. We have seven. Great. So that's seven more points. 24. And we're going to score on our mat. So we have one technology point. That's one point. Nothing's happening in our city at all and four points. So that's five more points. And now we'll take income. So we get one coin, one worker. We get three food. We get a culture, another tile, worker, and a tapestry card. Hopefully this one's better for our last era. Uh, you cannot advance on the science track whenever uh, you enter any new advancement here. Gain four points. Interesting. Okay. Uh, so that was our turn. Let's go ahead and see if the Automa is going to do an income. Oh, these are upside down. Sorry about that. Okay. So they are. They're going to do an income phase. Uh, so, we're going to assess favorite track. Uh, so they're both still happy. The Shadow Empire is still tied, so there isn't a further one on this track. And the Automa is the furthest one on the technology track. So they're good there. Uh, they're going to score points. They now have one landmark. 
So that's that's uh, two points. Plus they control two regions. So that's another four points for six points. Puts them at 10. Uh, they're gonna score military. So they're on the second space, that's two points. And on science, they're on the first space, so that's one point. So three more, it's 13. And finally, technology, they're on the fifth space, so that's five points. And here, they're only on zero. So five more points, 18. Okay? Uh, we're gonna grab a tapestry card and cover this up. We're gonna take two more AI cards from the deck. We're gonna give them another tapestry card and their ability is to get another point for their landmark. So they are now at 19 and we're gonna shuffle the AI deck. Okay. So it is our turn, first turn in the thir third era here. Um, I think our approach is going to continue to push on exploration, obviously. However, um, before we get too deep in here and we start losing some of our territories from our hand, I think we want to make a point to get this. Um, so that'll be some more points. So. Our first turn is to move up the military track. So we'll go ahead and spend a culture. Move here. It gets us a tapestry card, which is good because we're still not thrilled with our supply of tapestry cards. Uh, this one is um, revision, revisionism. Whenever you gain a landmark on a track, also gain a resource if you reach an already claimed landmark on the track. Uh, interesting, okay, not awesome, uh, but that's okay. So we will go ahead and pay an extra resource to get a market, or an armory, sorry. Um, we're gonna pay coin, and get an armory, and the armory we'll put here, okay. Now, it is their turn. So the Automa is going up any track, which is going to be their favored track. Uh, they're not doing anything. And the Shadow Empire is going up um, closest to a landmark or the end. So uh, the closest to a landmark for them is uh, one, two, three away. It's gonna be here. Mm, it'd be great to beat them to that landmark as well. Let's see if we can make it happen because on our turn here, we're gonna push that track again. Uh, so we're gonna spend a culture. No, we're not. We're gonna spend a worker and move up here. So that gets us a conquer or a uh, armory. However, since those are really the same thing for us, we're gonna go ahead and take the armory and put it here. Great. All right, so that's our turn. Automa. The Automa is going up their favored track, so they are going to get another landmark and they're clearing the technology cards. So we'll go ahead and do that. They get the second building landmark. And um, three more cards come out. All right. 
And the Shadow Empire is going up the science track. Great. So they did not beat us to this landmark, which is exactly what we were hoping for. So we're going to go ahead and spend our one culture and a food to go up here. That gets us the barracks, which we're going to place here. And it also now gets us a worker and scores us for tiles which we now have eight tiles. So that's eight points. Thirty-seven. Okay. Uh, that seems like it was great. Let's go ahead and do the Automa's turn here. All right, so the Automa is moving up uh, wherever they can either get a landmark or finish. So they're five away from finishing here. Um, okay, so that's going to be over here because they're closest to this landmark. They're only two away, uh, and they're going to get another tapestry card for that. And then... The Shadow Empire is moving up the track that they're closest to finishing, uh, which is going to actually be here. Okay. Uh, and now it's our turn. So I think we've done what we wanted to do here. We're obviously going to push on this track and get this landmark before them. So we're going to pay one food and two other resources. So it's gonna be two food and a worker. And we're gonna go ahead and move into here, which gets us the second exploration landmark. And with this, with this piece, we're gonna use our civilization ability again. And we're gonna put this here where we already have a piece, it's very big, um, but that's where it's gonna go. And that gets us a resource. So we're gonna take another food like that. We also gain two more tiles and we get to do and explore. Um, so I think we're gonna get a tapestry card because we're still not super thrilled with our cards here. Uh, and this one, let's see where the best place is. Um, I think we can fit it here. Nope. All right, this gets us one, two, three, four points. So we're up to 41, we get a tapestry card, wartime economy, uh, so that's kind of nice free bonuses. And that is our turn. So, Automa. All right, so the Automa is moving up the track that uh, they are closest to either a landmark or finishing once again, and that's going to be this one now. They're closest to this landmark. Uh, they roll the die. And now they also move up on this track here, but they don't get the action. Okay, and the Shadow Empire is moving up on science. All right, our turn. We have three more food, which is perfect because we're gonna go ahead and move up here one more time. So we're spending our three food. All right, we're gonna get rid of two tiles to get five points. So we'll get rid of 
these two tiles. That gets us five points, 46. And we also now get to put out a farm, which we'll do here. That gets us a resource, we'll take a food back. And we also score farms. But it's scoring farms in our capital city, which we have not done anything with. Uh, so we get zero points there. All right, Automa's turn. So they are moving out the military track first. All right, that's gonna do a conquer action for them. So the first thing we assess is, can they conquer us? And the answer is no, we've locked them out here. So they're not going to do that. Uh, there is a toppled icon on the card. So that puts us here. Uh, basically, their options are going to be any of these, including these two. Uh, the middle achievement is no longer available. We do have a territory with a single token. We have this one, this one, this one. So uh, basically, they're going to only include these territories, which for them is going to be this one here. So they're going to go ahead and put a territory out with an outpost and a toppled shadow empire. Okay. All right, and now the Shadow Empire is moving up the science track like that. Okay, our turn. I think we are going to do an income. We only have one food here. Um, and once again, I think we want to be the third or the first person into the fourth era. So let's go ahead and do the income phase. We don't have a civilization ability. Um, for tapestry, we are going to do wartime economy. That gets us three resources, and we're going to take food. All right. Uh, we get to move up a technology card, unfortunately. Ooh. Interesting. Do we want, before we take this income, do we want to gamble? and get a tapestry or a technology card. It would only cost us one resource because we've not yet moved on the technology track, but the risk is then the Automa might do income. Um, hmm. Let's see here. Man, seven points would be nice. I don't know that we could get there with the remainder of the game. No, nope, we're just going to continue on. So we don't have a technology card. We're going to now score. Uh, we have one point here, zero points here. So that's one. We have 11 points here and here. Well, so first let's do the 11. So 58. And now here we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight more points. So that's nine. So 58 plus eight is 66. Okay, and now we do income. We get one coin, one worker, four food. So that puts us up to eight and two culture and then a tile and a tapestry. So the tile we're gonna get is worker and a tapestry card. Okay. 
So, let's see here. Oh, this should be on two. Okay. Automa's turn. Are they going to do their income? They are. Okay. So, favorite track. The blue is very happy with their favorite track as technology. They're still in the lead. And uh, over here, so they're no longer in the lead. They're going to head and move to this one here because they are one away from an unclaimed landmark. All right, so now they're going to score. They have two landmarks times two points is four. 23. Uh, they control three territories, 26. On the military track, they're in space three. So that is three points, 29. And on the science track, they're also on space three. That's three points, 32. On the technology track, they're in space eight. So that's 16 more points, 48. And on the exploration track, they haven't even moved, so they're at zero. All right, so we'll go ahead and cover up this era. Add two more AI cards to their discard. Give them a tapestry. They're going to get two more points for their landmarks. So that's 50. And we'll go ahead and shuffle their deck. All right, so we are now in our last set of turns um, before the final income phase. And I think our strategy is going to attempt to complete the exploration track, ideally ahead of the Automa on the technology track so that we can get the uh, 10 point accomplishment. Um, we're not going to worry about toppling. They're not going to be able to topple us because we doubled up everywhere. Um, and they haven't really done a lot of conquering. So there isn't really an opportunity for us to get it. So with that, let's uh, take our first turn. We're going to spend a food. And how do we want to do this? We need to make sure we have, so we'll spend one more food and one culture to go up here for airplanes. That gets us two tiles. All right. And uh, we now can place a tile anywhere that we'd like, I think. Um, what might make sense is this island tile, if we put it here, that should give us five points. One, two, three, four, five. It does. All right, so that's what we're going to do. That puts us at 71. And... Um, if you remember, we are still in wartime economy, so this is free. We're gonna get a free tapestry card. Okay. All right, so that was our turn. Let's see what the Ottoman is gonna do. This deck is upside down. Okay. They're going to move up on any track, beginning with military. So they are moving to here, and they don't do either of those. 
the Shadow Empire is moving up here on exploration. Okay. Our turn. Um, yeah, well, let's get this landmark here. So we will spend two food. Takes us down to four. And we score technology. Unfortunately, we haven't moved at all on technology. The question is, um, do we want to take a turn and do that? Yeah, let's do that, because then we've got a technology card as well. So I'm going to back this out real quick. Go back to six on the food. Okay, so we're going to spend one culture. And let me just see here. Yeah, one culture. And go up here. That gets us a technology card. Now, I think our best hope here is to take this one so that we can get three points uh, during the next income phase. Perfect. All right, that's our turn. The Automa. All right, so they're moving up on their favorite track, which is this one here. They don't do either of those actions. And the shadow is moving up on science. All right. Our turn. Um, I think we are going to go one more here. So we're going to spend a coin, go up, we get a tapestry card, exploitation. And we get this bonus action for free. So we are going to get a free market. And we'll use it to conquer here. Uh, actually, yeah, let's conquer here. Okay. That's our turn. Automa. All right, any track for them, which is their favorite, and they're going to get a landmark here. They get the last landmark for technology. So now I'm a little nervous that they're gonna beat us here. Uh, we're gonna have to make a run for it. Although I'd love to get one more. Um, we'll see how that plays out. Shadow is going up on technology as well. Okay. Our turn. Mm. Let's see. Yeah, we're going to risk it. So we're going to spend our worker to go up one more here. And we're going to take... Let's see, it's either banking, which gets us to, yeah, let's do that. So we're gonna do banking, we're gonna conquer here. And that's our turn. Their turn, hopefully, Automa does not go up on technology. Mm, I think they are going to, so uh, they go up on Obviously, the track that is closest to the landmark or an end, so they're only two away here. Um, yep, so they are going up one more here. They don't do anything. And the Automa is going up the track that they're closest to the end on, which is going to be uh, this one here. Okay. Our turn. Uh, so now we're going to make a push here. So we're going to go spend two food and move up here. That gets us the launch pad, which we will place here. Okay. 
and it also gets us three points uh, because we're three in on the technology track. So we go up to 74. Also, we get this, and we don't have to spend the three tiles, which is nice. So we get an extra 10 points. 84. All right. Autonoma, hopefully. Uh, let's see here. So actually, we're good. Uh, blue is going to, now they're all of a sudden interested in exploration. A uh, little, little late there, but we'll see. And the Automa is going to go up on their favorite track. I'm sorry, the Shadow Empire, Shadow Empire, which is there. All right, our turn. We're getting into space. So two more. That gets us three space tiles. And let's take a look at what we got. So we got some science. We are not super interested in uh, technology. Interesting. Another tech card could be good. Or putting out some farms. Hmm. Let's go ahead and do this one. So we get to move up on this track. And we get another technology card, and we get to score technology. So that's four more points. 88. Okay. Uh, so we get a technology card. Um, at this stage, I don't think we're going to be able to use any of them. So we're just gonna take it because we're gonna get the points, two points actually for having it later on during income. All right, so uh, th that was our turn. And now, Automa, Autonoma. Whoo, we lucked out. They are not going for the 10 points. They're going up on military. Uh, so they are gonna do a conquer action. Let's go ahead and see first if they can conquer any of our territories, uh, outposts, they can't. So this one's already doubled up. There's none here. They can't reach this. They can't reach this. So in that case, uh, there is a toppled icon. So, uh, all hexes that are legal are basically in play. Um, they cannot get the middle achievement. Uh, I do control tokens with a single token. So, basically, they are looking at uh, this one. Or this one, or this one. So any of these three. Uh, so the tiebreaker on this case is up here. So they're gonna get this one and they get a toppled shadow. All right, that was their turn. And in our turn, we are going to finish this track. So we have two more food. We're gonna spend them, move up, and we're gonna place the two other, uh, well, so first off, we get 10 points. 98. And we're gonna place the two other space tiles. So we get to place a farm um, I think I'm going to continue just to place it here because that's worked out well for us so far. So I put it here and then we score farms on the city map, but there are none. So that's nothing. And then here, uh, we, we move up on science. So we're going to score our technology. Oh, I'm sorry. We're red. 
So that's gonna be anticlimactic. We roll the die. It's military. Mm, so we get a conquer, which we're not gonna use the conquer. Um, oh, we get both. We get conquer and putting out an armory. So for the armory, we'll go ahead and put it in this last area. Hopefully they don't conquer us there. Um, and for the conquer, um, actually, I'm sorry, we're gonna do this in reverse. For the conquer, we're gonna put this here, and then for the armory, we're gonna put it here so that they can't come in there, and that gets us a resource, and we will use a, um, doesn't matter really, worker. Okay, and we also, Get to score science, so it's just one point. 99. All right. Their turn. So this is their last pair. They aren't going to score. So um, blue is going to move right here and take the five points. Okay, and Shadow is going to move up on here. Okay, our last turn, we did just gain a resource. So I'm thinking um, the only place we can use it is here, so we might as well, which gets us a tapestry card, but more, oh, a trap, uh, but more importantly, it lets us put out one last, oh, farm, but we've already exhausted our farms. So we're not going to do that. Okay. Uh, so the Automa now scores income. Oops. Keep those there. All right. And I realized that in this video so far, I've been going left to right, where you're supposed to go top down, obviously. So um, first, we're going to uh, go ahead and assess favored tracks. So in this case, blue is going to move because now they're at the end. So the place that they're closest to another landmark is going to be here. They're two away. So that's their new favored track. And uh, shadow is still content here. Now we do the civ action. They're going to go ahead and get three points. They have three landmarks. That takes them to 53. Now we do the main scoring. So that's three landmarks times three is another nine points. That gets them to 42. I'm sorry, 62. Territories they control are four times three is 12, which gets them to 74. Military, uh, Automa is on five, five times two is 10, 84. Science, they're on three, three times two is six, 90. And now here's the big one, technology. Uh, they made it to the end. So 12 times 3 is 36 plus 90 is 126. So 126. And now um, exploration. They're on 1. 1 times 3 is 3 more. 129 points. And that concludes their income. Uh, that's their final score, 129. Can we beat it? Let's find out. So we're going to go ahead and do our income. We have nothing else to do. Um, 
We have no Civ action, so we're going to increase a Technology card. And the one that we're going to increase is this one here, which gives us three points. So now we are at 102. All right. And we'll score. So two points per technology card. We have three, so that's six points. 108. We did not do anything here, so nothing. Luckily, we finished this track, so that's 21 points, and I think that does it. Uh, actually, it ties us, 129 each. However, we also get to score this, which has basically been the primary focus our entire game, and so we're going to get 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 more points. Which brings us up to 143. And that is the game. We beat the Automa as the Nomads in the second game. So that was level 2. And join us next time for playing uh, our third civilization, and this time we will be at level three. So let's see if we can pull off another win. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed this video. If so, please subscribe and like us below, and we will see you next time.